and they came for the journalists. So hello guys, here's the top 10 most anticipated and upcoming games of 2020. At number 1 we got Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077 is an open world action adventure game which the story sets in the Night City and Megapolis is obsessed with power, glamour and body modification. It's an open world sci-fi RPG game from the creators of The Witcher 3. They say it will be even bigger than The Witcher 3 with driving and explorable buildings. The hype only grew when it had an official trailer showcased during Microsoft E3 press conference on 2018. You can customize your character's cyberware skill set and playstyle and explore a vast city where the choices you make shape up the story and the world around you. The Cyberpunk 2077 release date will fall on November 19 and it's finally set to release on PS4, Xbox One and PC. Wake the fuck up, Samurai. We have a city to burn. Number 2 we got Far Cry 6. Far Cry 6 is an upcoming first person shooter game developed by Ubisoft Toronto and published by Ubisoft. Far Cry is a franchise that grown from a relative obscurity in one of the Ubisoft's most bankable heads. In Far Cry 6, you'll play a revolutionary leader named Danny Rogers choosing to be either male or female at the beginning of the game. Rogers' story will have a direct impact on the world and how the character reacts to the events on Yara. The main character Danny Rogers is caught up in the revolution on the island and rises up against Castillo's empty promise to restore the highland back to its former glory. There will be a different groups of revolutionaries across the island with the motivations and approaches of same guerrilla fighters not quite aligning. Far Cry 6 is coming to Xbox One and Series X, PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 and Google Stadia and also PC on February 18, 2021. And you must clutch them nice and tight or we all At number 3 we got Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Unsurprisingly, Assassin's Creed Valhalla won't be up for the purchase on Steam at launch, as Ubisoft plans to release the Valhalla on Uplay and Epic Games stores only. Blaze your own path across England with advanced RPG mechanics, claim the riches of your enemy's lands for your clan and expand your influence far beyond your growing settlement. Unleash the ruthless fighting style of the Viking warrior as your dual wild axes, swords or even shields against the relentless force. Assassin's Creed Valhalla will release on November 17, 2020 for Xbox One, Series X, PlayStation 4 and 5, PC and Google Stadia.
At number 4, we got Watch Dogs Legion. Legion is an action-adventure game from a third-person perspective. The game is set within an open-world, fictionalized representation of near-future London, which will encompass notable landmarks, boroughs, and cultural styles of the city. There is no one called a protagonist in Legion. Cutscenes, story beats, and dialogue will all change depending on the dead sync member you are currently playing as. Each character has a host of different attributes that affects the playstyle. Scanning a random citizen might reveal their background which makes them better at non-lethal takedowns and hacking drones. But you can't just hit a button and recruit them right away. You have to sway them to your side. Watch Dogs Legion will be available in October 29 on PS4, Xbox One, Stadia and PC via Epic, Uplay and as a part of Ubisoft subscription services like Uplay Plus. Ubisoft livestream failed to mention that the next gen PS4 version supports them. But we don't know that it will be available for free should you purchase on the PS4 edition. Legion will support cross-platform by. Number 5 is Marvel's Avengers is an epic third-person action-adventure game that combines an original cinematic story with a single-player and cooperative gameplay. Assemble into a team of up to four players online. In the near future, an Avengers celebration called Avengers Day takes place in San Francisco, allowing the public to connect with Avengers. A sudden attack on the Golden Gate Bridge forces the heroes to ditch the event and spring into action. While Iron Man, Thor, Hulk and Black Widow go to work saving civilians on the bridge, Captain America returns to the Avengers helicarrier to fight off the baddies, trying to gain possession of the experimental energy source in the Avengers' possessions. The Avengers watch as the helicarrier explodes and sinks into the waters after Cap tries to get to the reactor powering the airship. Despite their varied powers, controls appears homogenized between all the playable characters, though each has a special power. They also have in-depth skill tree with a variety of skills for players to customize their characters. Perks will also add various buffs and debuffs to the heroes and enemies. Marvel Avengers will launch on September 4th, 2020 for PC, PS4, Xbox One and Google Stadia, which does not support cross-platforms. Stay on task. There are still civilians on this bridge. Six and Star Wars Squadron. Buckle up, feel the adrenaline of the first person multiplier dogfights alongside your squadron. Pilots who enlist will step into the cockpits of the starfighters from both the New Republic and Imperial fleets and fight in strategic 5 vs 5 space battles. Pilots will triumph as a team and complete tactical objectives across known and never been seen battlefields, including the gas giant of Yain Prime and the shattered moon of Galatin. The cockpit is your home, and Star Wars Squadron is a fully self contained experience from day one where you earn rewards through play. Climb the ranks and unlock new components like weapons, hulls, engines, shield and cosmetic items in a clear path of progression that keeps gameplay fresh and engaging. It is scheduled for release for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on October 2, 2020. At 7, Man 3 is an upcoming stealth game. Your ultimate goal is to explore these meticulously crafted locals and figure out exactly how you want to eliminate your targets. You have complete freedom to take disguises, create accidents, interact with other characters and blend into the crowd to watch your master plan unfold or gloriously fail. Diana Burnwood and Lucas Gray will both return in a mission to hunt down the partners of Providence. It will not be an episodic game with all 6 locations available from launch day. The first of these is Dubai, as with Hitman 2, you can import all levels from the previous game into Hitman 3 and the new progression system will work across them all. The final game in the rebooted Hitman trilogy will once again put players in the shoes of the Agent 47. Its three will come to PS5 in January 2021.
number 8 Horizon Forbidden West Horizon Forbidden West continues Alloy's story and takes her to the America's wild frontier with a trailer that heavily suggests we'll be spending a good portion of the game underwater. Unfortunately, the trailer doesn't reveal much about the story of the Forbidden West. A young huntress on a quest to the mysterious frontier spanning Utah to the western Pacific Ocean coast of the world saving mission. On her journey across the uncharted lands of the Forbidden West, she encounters hostile regions filled with natural threats and, rav and ravaged by massive storms, dangerous enemies and deadly missions both new and old. As Alloy attempts to explore the wider and deeper parts of the Forbidden West, she discovers a vast array of diverse environmental ecosystems including lush valleys, dry deserts, snowy mountains, tropical beaches and ruined cities both above and below the waters, which reveals some more specific locations. The game will take place between Utah and Pacific Ocean and both San Francisco and the Yosemite Valley are going to be playable locations. The Golden Gate Bridge will indeed make an appearance even though it's mostly been submerged. Players are able to explore wide and deeper into bigger maps compared to the previous game. Horizon Forbidden West aka Horizon Zero Dawn 2 will be a PS5 exclusive when it releases in the near future so it will not be on PC or Steam and it is expected to be released by 2021. Number 9 Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales is an upcoming action-adventure game. The narrative continues from Marvel Spider-Man and its own downloadable content. The city that never sleeps during during which Miles Morales is bitten by a genetically enhanced spider and gains power similar to Peter Parker's. The year after the first game and its DLC, Miles has fully integrated himself into the black and red suit as an experienced Spider-Man while defending New York from a gang war between an energy corporation and a high-tech criminal army. Miles' new home in Harlem is at the heart of the battle. Parker tells Miles that he has to be like his late father and walk on the path to becoming a hero of the city of New York. It will be released in later part of this year. Resident Evil Village Years after the tragic events of the Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, Ethan Winters has started over with his wife Mia, finally living in the peace and putting the past behind them. However, Chris Redfield, the legendary hero from the previous Resident Evil games, suddenly disrupts their life, throwing a devastated Ethan into the new and twisted nightmare in the search of answers. It may come as a surprise, but Resident Evil Village will in fact take place in a village. It's a gothic, snowy place with beasts, betrayals and people just trying to survive. It sounds like Ethan's baby could be a bioweapon. After Biohazard's intentionally isolated tale, Redfield's last minute cameo does signify that the next installment will draw us back further into the lore of Resident Evil's wider universe, or at least reveal how these separate stories are all tied together. Apparently, it will be the longest Resident Evil engine game to date, beating out the Resident Evil 7 and the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes. Resident Evil 8 The Village will release on PlayStation 5 in 2021. And that's all guys, we're gonna wrap up this video. Thank Thanks for watching and catch you later in more gaming videos. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe.